Look at the Today Show, a Discovery documentary, Nitro Circus, magazines worldwide, newspapers, covers in every state in America, and just recently every single newspaper in New Jersey. Everybody a big warm, warm welcome for the world's premier female cannonball, Jennifer. Too. So the runners can hear the countdown. Oops, I'm tangled here. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Oh, I know it's early, but come on, I want to hear a woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. So I'm pretty excited about this morning. I've been a human cannonball for 19 years, and this will be my very first opportunity to be a starting gun. Pretty cool concept, huh? <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. Until I heard it was 8 o'clock in the morning. Just kidding. <laughs> well, my husband's going to have to climb inside the cannon here. It's going to take about two minutes to get it ready. So during that time, I'll go ahead and explain a little bit about myself and how I became a human cannonball. Well, I grew up around the cannons. My father, David Smith, is a Guinness Book World Record holding human cannonball. He designed and built this cannon as, along with a cannon for my brother, himself, and one of my sisters. And so I grew up traveling all over the world as a child, watching him fly through the air. And then when I got to the proper age, whatever age proper is for becoming a cannonball, which age suited me the most, I started practicing, and then my professional career kicked off at 16. It's taken me all over the world, 11 different countries, and every single one of the United States, many different wonderful events just like this one. I'm very, very fortunate that I do get to bring my family around with me. My daughter is 13, my son is 6, and uh, they just think they live in an amusement park and that life is really, really easy. So that's nice for me that they're very secure and that this job provides that for them. And I enjoy the opportunity to, just co to come out and show off in front of awesome crowds like yourselves. Because without you guys, I don't have a job. So thank you for coming out, and I do hope you enjoy my show. And uh, if you do enjoy it, come back. I have two more today, I believe at one and five, I think. Anyway, hey runners over there, if you can hear me, I'm just a couple of minutes from climbing in this gun. Once you hear the countdown, there will be a blast. Can you guys put your hands in the air if you can hear me? Okay, all right, good deal. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to climb down inside this barrel after we raise it up to a 45 degree angle. I will climb the entire 28 foot length into the firing chamber. Rob will give you a signal that we are ready for the countdown backwards from five to fire. Then I will go from a complete standstill to flying through the air in under a half of a second. In that split second, I will take nine G's upon launch and negative nine when I land in the net. Now, the cannon always remains the same. If I'm in the proper position inside, I just feel flying. If I'm lazy, she lets me know. The net, however, is always different. It's always very, very different. Sometimes it's violent, sometimes it's comfortable, and it's hard to tell just by looking at it. This will be my seventh time hitting it here, so it's lost a lot of its elasticity. So I have to be really mean in the net. So. Anyway, it sounds like the cannon is just about ready. I'm antsy to get this race started for these guys. And uh, if I could just remind everybody that the cannon is very loud, so once you hear the countdown, please cover your ears. Enjoy the show! Check, check. All right, this cannon is powdered, powered by black powder. Jennifer, however, is powered by the noise of an audience. Can you guys make some noise, show her some love this morning? All right, that's what we need, is everybody to be loud, because in a minute we're gonna raise her up on the barrel. She's gonna do the walk of fate to the top. When she slides in the top of the barrel, down into the chamber, that's when it's gonna be a moment of silence. When I get back on the mic, everybody's going to have to help me with a countdown. Each and every one of you, we're going to count down backwards from five to fire as loud as you can. So I'll wait for a signal to raise the barrel, and we'll raise this cannon. For today's flight here, it'll be a 45 degree angle due to the perfect conditions. All right, on our way up. 10 degrees, not even a quarter of the way yet. And climbing. 
20 degrees. We're about halfway now. Then she, Jen should be grabbing on the end there and holding on. She'll be sitting about 30 feet off the air when we're ready to do this. All right, we're set on just about 45 degrees. Now it's up to you guys. Can you make enough noise to get her into this gun? Yeah! All right, you sound like a good morning crowd. Now, like I said before, when she slides down the barrel, there's going to be a moment of intense silence. That's when we unhooked all the safeties. Make sure everything's good. Check our gauges for the final time. When I get back on the mic, you guys are all going to help me with the countdown. There'll be a moment of silence now. All safeties are off. We are ready to fire. Everybody Ooh. help me with the countdown. Five, four, four three, two, two, one, fire! Into the net, second mark about 130 feet. If you look behind us, the runners are on their way, kicking off the 5K run. In a second, she'll have her helmet off and she can hear you, everybody. Jennifer the Cannon Lady. Now, if you'd like to meet and greet Jennifer, she'll